Being one of the largest cities in England, Manchester is becoming an increasingly important gateway and it has been ranked as science, innovation, infrastructure and the rise of the northern powerhouse. Manchester is the northwest forward-looking and inspirational city region. This is a world-class business investment location with all the benefits and attractions of a vibrant European metropolis. It is also the home of two famous British Premier League football clubs, Manchester United and Manchester City. The University of Manchester is a well-established and renowned university, providing world-class education to students from all over the world for over 100 years. The University's Alliance Business School is amongst top business schools across UK and currently Manchester Business School is undergoing a refurbishment project worth £60 million to create mixed offer of retail, food and leisure for students, staff and visitors. This development forms part of the University's 10-year £1 billion campus master plan to create some of the most modern campus facilities in the world. This ambitious development will have a major impact on the city of Manchester and the Northwest region. The exciting Manchester Business School redevelopment project will create a new hotel, executive education centre and redevelop the school buildings to enable MBS to co-locate on one side of Oxford Road in a strategically important Oxford Road corridor. Let's explore what project management techniques from ABM Borg have been utilised to take control and ensure the MBS rebuilt project to move toward a successful direction. Stakeholder management would help to harness positive influences and minimise the effect of negative influences. It comprises four main steps. The first step is to identify stakeholders. In an MBS redevelopment project, Stakeholders are divided into eight categories – clients, managers, employees, end users, private financiers, community, government and suppliers. Next task is stakeholder analysis, which is based on power and interest. Mr. Boland helps us analyse the stakeholder mapping progress and points out that people in MBS have been influenced mostly. The most influential people who, who have an impact on the project is, uh, are the internal stakeholders within the business school. So, you know, um, we've been meeting with, uh, with the business school stakeholders for three, four, five years, you know, in terms of um, being able to uh, ensure that the building meets their requirements. As defined in ABM Box 6 edition, communication is one type of interpersonal skills. Since projects are developed and managed by people, the dynamics, attitudes and relationships between the people are the keys to enable their success. There are usual barriers found to effective communication, it could be physical or cultural. In the modern world, a wide range of media available provides great opportunity but also increases the risk of inefficient communication through poor choice. Yeah, well, poor communication is probably one of the key reasons why uh, projects can can go off track. Mm -hmm. um, so every project should have a communication plan. You can never communicate enough, uh, and it's always best to maybe follow up some kind of uh, written communication with maybe some kind of verbal communication. Uh, my my preferred mode of communication is is face to face meetings. Um, but often, uh, because of time pressures, mm -hmm. uh, you, you're not able to uh, actually uh, meet with everybody. Yeah. Um, but from a, from a communication plan, I mean, you, you've got to try and um, determine at the beginning who your audience is going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, in most cases, the focus would probably be on stakeholders. Project scope defines both the goal and the activities of the projects to be performed. It further requires using of schedule management to appropriately guide the project. MBS Rebuild project is divided into three parts, that is, bridge demolition, existing building refurbishment and the newly built hotel part. It can be seen from the Gantt chart of the project, time arrangement of each specific work is conducted clearly and sequentially. For instance, 
Duration for the bridge demolition is from 27th of July 2015 to 27th of April 2016, which is eight months. The building refurbishment part will involve a new design and a sequence of reconstruction activities including roofing, ceiling and wall, etc. The duration is from 18th of September 2015 to 20th of January 2017, which is five months. The GAN chart can objectively demonstrate which works are progressing in advance or in delay comparing with space lines. If a work item has fallen behind its schedule, we need to identify whether it is located on the critical path to make sure the entire duration is not affected. As procurement has become an increasingly important thing, the relationship with Brownwood in the procurement process is not to be overlooked. Procurement is more than just a managing spend for structured process. Procurement adds value. You match the needs of the organization to what the supply market can provide, and vice versa, developing the supply market to meet the needs of organization about influencing and negotiating, building relationships with key stakeholders and suppliers. In this project, the developer-led solution was engaged into the project, which facilitates the business school handle its project. Basically, for the developer to provide them with some accommodation but then would also provide the developer with an opportunity for a long-term um, investment. And the developer paid the university, I was saying about uh, the university wanted a, a business school, wanted a building but didn't have the money for it. The, the, the Brunwood paid the university a sum of money so they had the benefit of doing the retail units. So benefiting from the double rows of Brunwood, there is a win-win situation. In addition, Brunswick renders this project for the business school clear to control by acting the bridge between the business school and other contractors. Risk covers all the life cycle of procurement and should be considered, mitigated or resolved in every decision across the procurement process. As risks are inherent in every project, risk management is now widely accepted in the project management as a significant procedure. It intends to recognize and manage the events that may occur potentially during implement stage. In the particular project, the risk register is a normal tool to help PMs manage risks. Certainly, communication is a continuous process in any project. Risks can provide opportunities in some aspects. In MBS project, the connection of the steel frame and the concrete building could cause a very hard and noisy activity which had been a focusing risk to the team. The reason why we're doing a very light refurbishment is that the people are also staying in the building, They're not, they haven't been um, they haven't vacated the building. Okay. So we're trying to construct um, uh, the project with, with them being retained in the building all the way through which presents us with some difficulty in terms of things like noise and dust yeah. and all, all of these kind of things. Yeah. And uh, the connection of the steel framework for the library into Harold Hangings was going to be a particularly um, noisy and difficult um, process for us. By reviewing the risk, the design team looked at the steam frame again and redesigned the structure framework, which limited the amount of noise and destruction, successfully turned the risk into an opportunity. MBS redevelopment project has done remarkable work so far. The work reflected the strong points of project management. In specific, the techniques and methods have been perfectly practiced and adapted in the project context. Due to that, the MBS redevelopment project is operating in order and is expected to get the best outcome in the future. Uh, uh.